Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. You probably know why I'm making this video. A few days ago, actually Tuesday, January 24th, 2023 to be exact, Brendan Urie has announced that Panic at the Disco will be no more. When I first heard that, I was shocked and felt empty. Panic at the Disco have been a huge part of my life ever since I first heard them. I've seen the band three times and to think that I'll never see the band again or be excited for a new upcoming album, it's kind of rough, but I completely understand Brendan's decision to walk away from the band. So to celebrate their legacy, if you will, I'll be counting down my top 10 favorite Panic at the Disco songs. I love Panic at the Disco a lot, so I obviously couldn't fit everything into the top 10. It was definitely tough, but I have a bunch in the honorable mentions in the description, so make sure to check that out. At number 10 we have the only difference between martyrdom and suicide is press coverage. I think this track was a great opener to the album A Fever You Can't Sweat Out. I love the acoustic guitars that start off the track and when the distortion gets turned on. The chorus is super fun to sing along to and I love the electronic break in the bridge which leads to Brendan going swear to shake it up leading right back into that catchy chorus. Definitely an underrated song. While I may not love Pray For The Wicked as a whole, this song, The Overpass, always gained my attention. The horns and the instrumentations light up this track, especially the drums. I love how loud the song gets during the chorus and how it slows down during this bridge. It sounds very sexy and cool. Brendan here is proposing someone to come back to this overpass, presumably a lover or someone who used to be and wants to rekindle a relationship again. He loves everything about her. Everything about you is perfect, down to your blood type, says Brendan to this girl. Definitely my favorite song on this album, and I couldn't go without including this one on here. Baby, we built this house on memories. Take my picture now, shake it till you see. House of Memories is a track from Death of a Bachelor, and you don't know how happy I am that I finally got to hear the song live after many years of loving this song. I really love the writing and the music surrounding this track. It feels very touching, and it's something I desire and come back to more and more. The piano and Brendan's soaring vocals make this track, and honestly has one of the best choruses that stands with the other greats. At number 7 I have She's a Handsome Woman, a deep cut off of Pretty Odd and a hell of a fun track too. The song starts with these obscure guitar chords that fit with the theme of this song, that being nonsensical, kind of like the lyrics. I've always missed these crazy and weird lyrics that Brendan and Ryan used to write together and Ryan's guitar playing throughout the song lifts the song up with these licks. The whole band get together and sing, whether in the background or in the chorus. This song just has a really cool feeling, so go on and listen to it if it slipped your memory or you haven't heard it yet. Number 6 is a track off Vices and Virtues called Let's Kill Tonight. This track always sounded so cool to me, the way the chorus sounds with that soaring guitar and Brennan's delivery, it just sounds very epic. I also love the use of claps and stomps, all these weird noises you pick up every time you listen. There's a lot of layers to this one. The violins during the outro feel like a nice send off and feels very necessary. Brendan has said this song is just a party song where he and his friends go off in the night and they're gonna kill it tonight. And I can see that, but I also find these lyrics very spiteful and full of anger, definitely towards someone he used to have in his life. Saying, cold and alone, it suits you well, won't find me perching here again. Whoever this person is that pissed Brennan off, they got one kick-ass song written about them.
Earlier in this list, I had the opening track to A Fever You Can't Sweat Out, and now I have the closing track, Build God, Then We'll Talk. Even though this was the final single on the record, I find this one pretty underrated. I love the theatrical sounds and the loud instrumentation at times. The song was composed super well, as well as the writing. I love the imagery in this song. The song talks about prostitution and cheating between these two people. The melody in the chorus and the bridge have the nice swing that makes it fun to sing along to and to dance to. Oh, kiss me. Hey, hey, we are a Number four is Hurricane. Hurricane is about a passionate relationship that eventually fizzled out and lost its spark. Using the metaphor of a literal hurricane, and a lot of people can relate to this song no matter what, it happens to almost everyone. I just love the high energy this song delivers. Again, there's these claps that I can't help but go along with, as well as the irresistible chorus. It's just a great song to chant along to, like where the band goes, you'll dance to anything. No complaints about this song at all, and it'll always be one of my favorites. Top three now, and at number three we have Colorful off of Too Weird to Live, Too Rare to Die. This track has this 80s flair to it that I love with these bouncy synths and that warm production. This track just brings me back to a warm summer night. I just adore it. Brendan's out chasing this girl and I love this lyric, if you're going to be the death of me, that's how I want to go. This is a song I would never skip and if I ever feel down or want to get in a better mood, this song always does the trick. Bet you didn't expect this track to pop up, did you? Behind the Sea is, without a doubt, the band's most underrated song in my opinion, and as you can tell from the little snippet, it's not even Brendan's song, or at least he's not in the forefront. The song was sung by Ryan, and the way he sings and plays guitar always gives me chills. It's hard to explain. The echoing effect on that opening guitar riff, the beautiful plucked guitar, and Ryan's haunting harmonies just make this track amazing to me. As always, when it comes to Ryan, his imagery and these lyrics are spectacular. His writing is so, so good. Then when Brendan and Ryan start singing together, it sounds fantastic, and we get this outro that turns whimsical and fun to sing along to. Then you get this orchestral climax that's reminiscent to A Day in the Life by the Beatles, with Ryan even saying, so close, just before the track ends. I wish more people came to appreciate this track, and honestly, just pretty odd in general. My number one favorite Panic at the Disco song, and honestly a fan favorite for a good reason, I have Nearly Witches. This was the last song written by Ryan when he left in 2009, and Brendan used it on Vices and Virtues. This track opens with a children's choir before the band kicks in with these stuttering guitars. I love the impact with every strum. I always picture Brendan performing this at a cabaret theater like he was back in the Fever You Can't Sweat Out days. This song just always has that vibe to it. And man, when that chorus hits, it just transcends me and lifts me up. It's so orgasmic and euphoric. The harmony and the melodies behind Brendan are what make this song mostly. The way the song raps with keeping that chorus energy while having the children choir come back and sing Mona Lisa, please to please ya, it's just amazing. It makes the album feel complete by bringing it back to the first track of the album while this song closes things out. I really wish I could have heard this song live because if this song gives me this type of feeling with the studio version, I couldn't imagine what the live version could do. Well, there you have it guys. That's my top 10 favorite Panic at the Disco songs. I know I didn't have any of the obvious picks like their most popular songs, but check in the description, I have the honorable mentions there. 
What's your top 10 favorite Panic songs, and please share any stories you have relating to this band. Let's keep the memories alive with Panic at the Disco. They'll always be a band in our hearts. Thank you, Panic at the Disco, for the many years of great music, and thank you to everyone who contributed in this band. I hope you guys have a great day. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.